All right, in the second video, we're going to work on the UV mapping. It should be pretty easy. I may need some adjustments, but again, we're trying to make this easy and light. What we're going to do is go ahead and do a couple things to make it a little bit lighter. Um, obviously, we're not going to be looking at the back of this model. So let's go ahead and go to side view, go to face. And select the back faces like that. Actually, let's do that again. All right. So we have to deselect the ones on the side because we don't want to delete them. So hold shift. There's another way of doing this, but easy. We're almost done. All right. So we have everything selected on the back. What we want to do to make it lighter is just go ahead and delete it. So it's an empty shell. All right. Another thing to make this uh, light for the gaming is if you look over here, you'll see the whole history of this model making. <coughs> if you've been modeling something like a character or a long time. This will be actually a very, very long list and can create it to play really slow and on Maya and also really slow once you bring it into Unity. So what we're going to do is delete this history. So we're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. You may want to do this with the door too so it's nice and light. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and show camera, turn that off. Okay. What we're going to do is go ahead and do a projection mapping. Make sure it's on camera. Keep image ratio. Hit project. Object. And if you look at your Windows UV texture editor, you can see your window is in place. And what we'll do is go ahead and put on a surface on there. So we're going to go to polygons and rendering. Sign new material. We're going to do a Lampert because we don't want this shiny even though the glass is shiny. And go ahead and apply a texture. Move that off to the side. Let's do that again. Lampert. I'm going to go over here to my checkerboard, file, go to the folder, desktop, window, to open, and we hit our secret key, which is six, see it's way off. Let's go ahead and adjust this. And we hit R and squeeze this in. Just kind of eyeball it. Zoom in. Use. So you guys have some very large screens. Go ahead and get it large so you can see what you're doing.
That looks pretty good. All right, so you may want to go in there and adjust it. You definitely need some adjusting. All right, so we'll go to six here. Kind of see. Framing, definitely all of that is off. All right, so go in there and clean it up. Um, probably what I want to do is do a whole track. Done. It, up. it looks like the linear ones are okay. Looks good. Maybe want to pull this off of the brick. So it doesn't show up red. Again, this is just a UV map, not the not the mesh itself. Some of many improvements. All right. It's pretty good. Again, the back of it is empty. Well, all we're worried about is the front. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. I'm going to do another one. We're going to focus in on the uh, front door again. We'll duplicate our door and then add the the upper window.